Hello, hello. I am just getting, I totally forgot that I went live right here first, but we will be opening I'm kind some of freaking out right now. artist training cards. Can everybody see these? Sorry. Now? <sighs> okay, I'm trying to go live on TikTok, but it keeps getting me to the wrong place here. So one second here, gotta click live. Okay, live. And then I gotta type this in. Opening artist trading cards. We'll see how many people want to come on live here. Oh, this is gonna be so. Oh, I gotta really like put you down here. I'm so sorry. Hello, hello. I'm just getting everything set up. So I am good to go. Oh, I got a lot of artist trading cards today. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen artist trading cards. Hello, hello. So I got sixteen of them. Um, one of them, the return address was actually cut off and um, it was open. So I'm hoping that everything is in there, but I will, uh, I did look, there is a name on the back of the card. So I'll probably have to try and search for that person. But, <sighs> so I am just coming live to you. The mail just came, what did I count? 16 cards. Um, I totally forgot to put mascara on today. <laughs> My eyes, like I have super blonde eye, eyelashes and eyebrows. I did my eyebrows, but I totally forgot to do my eyelashes. So they're super blonde. Um, so I just look kind of like, I mean, I'm wearing a hat, you know, but I try to at least do my hair cute with my hat. But anyway, so I am live on TikTok and YouTube. So that way, if you aren't able to watch right now, you can definitely watch on YouTube later. So welcome, welcome. I'm going to be opening artist trading cards today. I got 16 in the mail um, and I do have family in town today. And so we have some plans for this afternoon. So I'm going to try and keep this to an hour if I can. Um, but if you are just joining, welcome. Don't be shy. Feel free to say hello. So the first one I'm going to open here is from Rhode Island and it says artist trading cards on the back. Oh, I got to mirror this. I always remember after mirror so how i normally do this is i will open up each card and then i will um show you all of them very quickly at the very end no special packages or anything like that came in yesterday or today but um you can definitely if you missed yesterday you can go check out the live stream on the youtube on the youtube um over on youtube at iheart art studios so all right so this i got 16 in the mail today so i'm just using my Handy dandy letter opener, trying very hard not to show addresses. And I'm just gonna, I just wanna, I don't wanna like rip anything either. So, <gasps> this one comes from Rhode Island. I'm so excited. <sighs> How are you guys doing? I always like, don't just, don't make me talk the whole time. So, but I mean, I will be talking, but I will get back to your comment here. Thank you so much for organizing the artist trading cards. It took me back to my elementary school days and inspired my friend and I to draw again. Yes, I love that. Um, this is such a wonderful idea and all of the artist trading card updates you post bring a smile to my face. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Uh, we sent along a stamp too. Thank you so much. Aww. Okay, so here, oh, this is really neat. Erica from Providence, Rhode Island. It's candy buttons. And just so you know, I am showing, um, so I'm on TikTok and YouTube, so you can watch this later if you want to, the whole thing, or however, it's just really handy because then I can just post it. It takes a little while to post, but then you can just watch the whole thing again. Look at that. So cute. This is called Freezy Pops during recess. <laughs> I love it. What a fun idea. It makes me want to like... <sighs> It makes it reminds me of summer is what it does. And this is from um, Anant, Anant from Providence, Rhode Island. Look at that, it's amazing. Is that like, uh, it's some sort of like creature. I don't know if it's from a certain cartoon 
Um, but it is really, really cool. Wonderful job. This one here is from Erica. Oh, smile. Oh, I love that. I love the watermelon. I did something with watermelon the other day and sent it out to someone. I don't know exactly who it went to. Um, Delphineus. Ooh, this is really cool. So there's a dolphin in there. You can see it. Hi, hello, but it's sewn. So there's some yarn on here that is sewn in. See, you can see it go through the back. So cool. So from Erica, um, this one's called Delphinus Constellation. And if you're watching, I apologize. I am not very good at pronouncing things I'm not familiar with. <laughs> um, signs of spring, beautiful flowers. Erica from Rhode Island. And um, so these are from Erica, Erica Freezy Pops. Uh, Erica, Erica, Dolphin, and Erica. And then this one here was from Anant. I apologize if I'm spelling that wrong. Yes, these are the artist trading cards. So every day I've been going live to open them, um, but I'm also streaming live on YouTube, so you can always watch it later. But this is the second day that I've been streaming live. Um, and I could see that a couple people did go watch it. Um, you know, after the fact. So what I normally do is I go through and I open each one and we went all over it. And then at the very end, I'll go through each one. So I would love, you better send them from Australia because I am working on getting a map and I put Australia on the map. So that way I can put a pin there. So is that just a great way? Oh, it's a Snorlax. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. A Snorlax. Now, is that from something specific? Um, is it like a Pokemon thing? It's been a while because my son used to really be into Pokemon, but it's been a while, so I'm not really sure. And if it looks weird because I'm looking this way, it's just because I've got YouTube streaming at the same time. All right, so this one here, <laughs> and they put a note on the back of it. Yes, Pokemon, okay, so they put a note on the back that just says, I didn't realize I was only supposed to put my name and city on the back, so I will, and then they asked if I could black it out, so I will do that before I take photos, so. I uh, love this challenge. I made mine on my first Amtrak train ride. That's so cool. You helped me enjoy my trip even more. <sighs> that just makes me so happy. Um, can't wait to send more soon. Thanks for starting such a fun activity. Oh, man, that's wonderful. And I love, like, the pretty card that it was sent on. I do save those, by the way. Like, when people write me little notes, I save them in my cute little binder. Um, oh, this is so cool. Okay. Okay. So I do have to black out the backside, so I'll make sure I don't show you. Oh, this is so cool. Look at that. It says coffee. It's like Starbucks. It's so cool. You're so excited. You've painted six. You'll be sending them soon now that lockdown's over for now. Awesome. Oh, look at that ice cream. Can you see it? Mm, it says nice dream. No, wait. Nice I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm a terrible. I'm, oh, yeah. It does say nice dream. <laughs> oh, it's an ice cream cone that's like a face. There's an eyelash on it. You see it? So cool. I love that when they have like little things. <gasps> to the moon. Oh, that's so cute. To the moon. That's so adorable. Wow. Flowers. Now, this totally looks like it is done with like... um with like marker and just colored pens and Sharpie. If you do um, work with Sharpie on the back side though, make sure that you're writing your name or your info with like a pen or something. Cause sometimes Sharpie can bleed through. And if you spend a lot of time on your design and then you flip it over and you write your name in Sharpie and it bleeds through, it will be very disheartening. So please make sure that you just write with a pen. And I used to always have to remind that when I taught art, a carrot, or a carrot. I love that. Is it a carrot or a carrot? Very cool. Uh, movie night, cola, pizza, and candy. I love this. It's just like taking such like regular things and making them into art. I absolutely love that. Celebrate the birthday cake. Celebrate. Welcome, welcome if you're joining. 
I'm just opening artist trading cards. I got um, 16 in the mail today. Tuna fish. So her first one was done um, on an Amtrak train. So I wonder which one, like, I wonder if she was like looking at her little coffee and then was like, I'm gonna do that. I don't know, that's just so exciting. This is all from Jean Sheraton from Oakland, California. So I will be blacking out her um, last, her, I'm gonna do that right now so I'm dead. I gotta grab a sharpie or something here. Of course, I'll, I think I'm grabbing a dryer starter. There we go. And actually, maybe I'll, um, maybe I should grab my pasta paint pen. I don't want to accidentally like, actually, I think I'll wait to do that because I don't want to, I was just saying, I don't want to like, don't do on the back of Sharpie. And then here I am like gonna go on the back of Sharpie. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just wait. I'm gonna get a pasta marker and I'm gonna test it in a little corner before I do that. So those were all from Jean Sheraton from Oakland, California. Beautiful. Now I just added more things to my table though. So welcome, welcome. If you're just joining, I've got 16 cards in the mail today. <gasps> Snail mail, is this one from you? I don't know. So cute, and I'm using my super handy letter opener that I got from my Amazon wish list that someone bought for me. Um, and then if you do send them in, because you can still send them in, make sure that I can read your address. So make sure that you write very neatly because if I have to take extra time to like look it up, then it, I may not be able to get you one back right away because I have to wait till I have a little bit extra time. That's a really pretty sticker though, very pretty. Yeah, maybe just put a sticker over it. I just don't want to like, I don't want someone to peel off the sticker and know her address. So I, my Posca paint markers don't normally bleed through paper and it's not, it's like a cardstock. So I think that will be fine. And actually I think she did it in Sharpie. I think that will be okay. But I'm just gonna test it. Cause so she's got this little like black line that kind of goes through. And so what I'm gonna do, like there's some like darkness down here. So I'll probably just try like a little dot just to make sure that I can X that out without. I hope I did, okay, yeah. Okay, so these ones here come from Mackenzie M from Tucson, Arizona. Beautiful. So this is done with like stickers and washi tape and marker. So cool. I think it goes like this. You know, I had gotten another one like this yesterday. I didn't even realize it, um, but I had gotten someone who sent, so Gabrielle, um, I can't think of the last name right off the top of my head, but she sent in her second group. So because I am entering all of the addresses um, into just my own little Google Doc as a way of just keeping track. And then if you don't get them back, like if you don't get your cards back, then I can look and see what the address was that I wrote down. Because a lot of times I'm just cutting the address off of the envelope and taping it onto my new envelope. So when you get yours back, then it might just be the address that you, it just depends on. You know, if the post office stamps over it, then I'll rewrite it. But so these are from Mackenzie M from Tucson, Arizona. But um, I had uh, when I went to enter her name in, it came up again. You know, how, like Google like automatically like refills it. So it's so cool. Second time. So it's just I just love that. I love that people are getting them back and then still participating. That just makes my heart so happy. Okay. <sighs> Ah, yes, you should totally do that. Don't be shy with TikTok because people are amazing on TikTok. I feel like I just, you know, you just be you, like be who you are and people like eventually will just start um, gravitating, you know, to you, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know why people follow me half the time. But, and it really is kind of the luck if like, TikTok pushes out your videos, but just start small. When I first started, I actually only did like time-lapse art videos where you were really only watching and then maybe I did a little wave. And then I introduced myself once. Um, and then eventually, because I used to do like over quarantine, I did a lot of lives um, on my Facebook business page. And so people enjoyed watching the lives because I can be kind of a ham for the camera. And so then, and I done YouTube and things like that. And so I'm so sorry here. This one says shine on it. Beautiful. This is beautiful. And they included a stamp with a little note that says to keep it going. Thank you so much. 
So this is from Bryn from Dallas, Texas. Shine. And eventually, like, if I, um, like, look up my, like, I've posted more than, like, 300 videos already. And it just, I, so yesterday I posted a video of, like, the bugs that were attacking me. So when I left the studio, my car was sitting in the shade. And I didn't realize that I had walked into a swarm of, like, little gnats. So, and I'm, I'm telling you this story because I ended up putting it private because I was embarrassed because it's not, like, my normal type of video. But I was freaking out about the bugs. Maybe I could post it again, but it was just... I wasn't sure if I should post it, but then when I rewatched the video, I thought it was pretty funny because I was freaking out. But so my car was sitting out in the back in the shade. And then I uh, walked into this swarm of bugs that was like all around the back. But as I was getting into my car, a bunch of them came into the car with me. So me not thinking, rolled down my window to get the bugs out, but instead forgot that I was still in the swarm. So then a ton more bugs came in the car. So I had to drive away to get away from the bugs so I could roll the window down. But then it was like, there wasn't anywhere to really go except that then I got at a stoplight, but I just wanted to get home and I was having a mild freak out moment. So if you wanna see that video, I could make it public again, but I, I thought it was really funny when I watched it back just because I was really like, having a moment, like not, I don't normally don't have moments like that, but when it comes to bugs and then I was hitting every stoplight, it's like I couldn't get away from them. Sorry, totally random long story here. Okay. <laughs> Can I empty? Oh, you are so sweet. Can I empty your pockets? I believe you stole in my heart. <laughs> What's the highest number of you uh, trading cards ever received in a day? 19 is the highest number. And it was the one day that I had a ton of things going on. I had mini makers happening. I had a big family come in. It was the first day of our spring break. So people had appointments all day. So I did my live video, but it wasn't until like eight or nine o'clock at night. And so then I had all those 19. And then the next day, I think I had 11. So then I had, and I just, I would like to do this every day because I don't want to like have a build up because as long as I can keep getting them out, then I can stay on top of it. So and right now I'm streaming on YouTube and on TikTok. So you can rewatch this later if you want to. And you can you can rewatch my weird stories too. So this is from Rosabella from Groshen, Indiana. I do apologize if I pronounce any names incorrectly. This is beautiful. This is like, um, I want to say it's like oil pastel or charcoal or something. It is like very like matte like. Oh, you want to study art therapy? That would be awesome. So I do, I, I, I don't have a degree in art. <laughs> um, uh, it's kind of a long story and I, I feel like I can't talk and look at cards at the same time, but I, um, the crazy, so I just, I had gone to a painting party back in 2016 in early April with one of my friends. This is so cute from Rosabella B from Groshen, Indiana. So cute. So I had gone to a painting party with one of my, my girlfriends um, early April and it was so much fun and my birthday is the end of April April 24th so just so you know um thank you so much Rosabella that is beautiful so I wanted to do a I'm gonna open this one next dinosaur on it um I wanted to do a painting party for my friends and so but because I only did art in my living room like for myself once in a while I would share a picture I was maybe proud of but I never I, I mean, I never took a college in class or anything. Anyway, I did, I did a little painting party in my living room with them. And I, um, it was really fun. At the end of the night, we took pictures of our paintings. And from that picture, one of my friends' friends who saw her pictures when she posted them on Facebook, reached out and asked if I would do a painting party for her and her friends. And I was like, it's not really a business. I'm just doing this for fun. And I don't even really know a whole lot about art. Um, oh, so cute. So this is from, oh, this is called Finley the Frog from Skylar Husky from DeSoto, Missouri. So cute. And uh, she said, no, it's totally fine. You know, but me and my girlfriends, we get together once a month and we just have a lot of fun um, just doing some sort of craft. So if you could help us with that. So cute. Clover Chameleon, this one is called from Skylar Husky. So I decided I, I uh, you know, I, I went over there and I did that. And then from that party, someone else booked a party and I had worked full time. I was 
still working full time. Oh, Eeyore in a bee costume or a butterfly. I don't know, but this is so cute. <laughs> so sorry. Oh my goodness. This is called Eeyore. Skylar Husky, DeSoto, Missouri. Oh my gosh. So cute. Um, and then, oh, the really cute draft. And so I was working at an elementary school. I coordinated the grants for the before and after school program because my degree is in human resource management, basically. And um, so then I just started teaching in-home painting parties, just kind of, you know, like your little side hustle kind of thing. Um, and I did that for about three years. And then the art teacher at the school left and they asked, they couldn't fill the position and it had been posted all summer. So the end of the summer was coming and they had to fill it and they asked if I wanted to teach it. And I was like, I don't have an art degree. I don't have a teaching license. Um, but I was able to get an emergency teaching license because art is a shortage area it's in Wisconsin. They have a hard time filling art teacher positions. <gasps> Ooh, someone sent me a bunch of stamps. Thank you so much. That is amazing. I just like to put a little note on here so I know to say thank you because I'm going to put my stamps then in my little stamp container. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I would love to have a, a conversation with you too. Um, oh, you work in disability care and your son is disabled. Oh, that's you're you're an angel. You are an angel. Oh, your passion is psychology and art. That's so cool. Need a wall of cards. I know. But most of the cards that come in end up going back out. And so I have like, I'm trying to collect at least one from every state just because I think that's kind of cool. Or if someone sends me one that's like extra unique, sometimes I'll save it or if I'm drawn to a certain card, but I'm also creating a lot of cards so that I can replace them. So, um, but ooh, this person sent a whole bunch. So they reused a little, um, container, cut it into like this little thing and then put a bunch of cards in there. So it's so cute. Um, yeah. So then I ended up teaching elementary art for a whole year with an emergency teaching license and I loved it. But at the end of the year, cause I'd given up my other position, um, you know, they were able to fill the art teacher position and I didn't, you know, so then I just didn't know what I was going to do with my life. And this is the short story, by the way, the short version, I should say. Um, so I just started looking for other places to host events so I didn't have to be in a bar all of the time when I did like, because once in a while I did public events, but then I'd have to like rent out a bar space. And so then I found this place and I was just going to do it temporary, like not temporarily, but just a couple times a month. And then it turned into this like full time gig. So I live in an amazing community who really supported me. And so, so I used to be called I Heart Canvas. And then when I got my space here, I did more than just canvas paintings. So then I am now I Heart Art Studios. I should get an Instat camera. So I actually have a fancy camera. I've got a Sony ZV something that I bought because uh, I used to film a lot of YouTube videos and I used to post every single week, but it took a lot of time and then energy into editing. And um, I just, I'm also running. So the hard thing is, you know, this is my public space in my studio. And so I took this on, which is, I'm super excited about, but I'm also like running my, my business and I have events and appointments and things too. So I don't really have a ton of time. So that's why I'm still trying to share pictures. Um, but it does take a lot of time. Oh, like a Polaroid camera. So I could take pictures and post them. Well, I could, I could still print them. I mean, you know, they're, I wonder if I can like go on Instagram and print a photo album. I don't really understand Instagram a whole lot, but then you can stick the colors. That would be really cool. Okay. Thank you so much for doing this. I have not taken the time for myself or art in so long. This also gave my children, mother, and myself some wonderful quality time. Oh, I love that. Thanks again for the inspiration on uh, to start creating again. Sorry for the overload with five people's work. It's totally fine. Ooh, this is like that dot art. Look at that. It's like all done with like tiny little dots. If you're just joining, I do have a YouTube stream happening also. So um, that way I, you can watch it later. But I usually go through all of the cards and open them and ooh and ah over all of them. And then I'll come back and I will um, show you all of them also. So this is from Donna Childs from Sandwich, Illinois. It's called What Do You See? What Do You See? So cool. So I am showing you on TikTok and I'm also showing um, YouTube. I see a lizard in that one. Oh, this is beautiful. Donna Childs from Sandwich, Illinois. I want to live in Sandwich, Illinois. Probably eat a lot of sandwiches. They probably hear that a lot though. So 
Beautiful, beautiful, love it. Oh, this one is pretty, but it's kind of sad. It's a brain, it looks like a brain in the middle of a flower, and then it says beautifully broken. So this is um, brain tumors suck. It really, they really do. That makes me wanna cry. So uh, we actually lost a really good friend a couple years ago from a brain tumor. <sighs> His name is Bob the Builder and he was like my handyman. So if I make a video asking to do this, can I plug your name? Oh, of course you can. <laughs> I heart art studios. I mean, you can even do the little at if you want to and tag me in it. Then I can ask Australia to send them to you in America to send them to Australia. Ooh, that would be fun. Look at this, so interesting. It, I wonder if it's like the inside, oh, it's called neurons. That makes sense, it's like neurons. Oh, oh. Okay, uh, let's see, there, there are a lot here, so I gotta keep moving. Okay, Monica Child's called Cedar Brain. You know, sometimes people make cards, it's kind of like, you know, you're talking about art therapy and it sounds like they maybe are struggling with something going on in their family and so it's, it's kind of sad. Um, but it can definitely help. So this is hi. This is from Cameron, who is 13, and he lives in Illinois. This one says bye. Again, it is kind of sad because it looks like there's a lot of like things from the inside of the body in there. Uh, this one here is the letter C with a C in there. Oh, age five. Isn't that so cute? So cute. Stickers. Oh, I love the little stickers. And then little like happy drawings, little faces. So cute. So, and then the reason that I like to make a bunch of them also to send out is especially like for little kids like this because, oh, this is for like from age two. So cute. See, they can do it. I've had my mini makers also make some. Is I would probably trade like a two-year-old one for a two-year-old one, but I also want to include one like from that's like done nicely, but like more directed for kids. Because if a kid gets something that looks like this kind of back, I mean it might be kind of cool because it's from another two-year-old, but then they might be like, well, hmm. but if they get one back that looks more like um, let me just kind of show them little hair one that maybe looks like this, because this is one that I did, then they might be like, oh, that's so cool, let's do another one. Because my goal is really just to keep inspiring people to create, so. Um, yes, art definitely helps with a, life, with a, a busy lifestyle. Um, I can't remember if I showed, showed you that one again, another two-year-old one. Those are beautiful, I love it. Nice job, everyone, creating those. Now I'm gonna open this one. And it says airmail. So it's from Canada. Mail comes over by air from Canada. Hmm. I guess that could make sense. But I mean, I'm only like, I mean, Canada is just like north. But maybe it depends where in Canada they're from. Because Canada is really big. <laughs> uh, Winnipeg. Ooh, okay. Um, feel free to share my address. Would love to trade with others. I don't think I'm going to share your address, but um, let's see. Take care and thank you. This gave me a reason to pick up a pencil today. So very cool. I have her address. Well, I have the address. I never want to assume. I'm so sorry. I just don't know. Um, but there are some actual, oh, so this person is Fire and Ice Design. So they included a business card in here, Fire and Ice Designs. So what I would share here is I would share the name of the business. You can find them on Instagram at fire underscore ice underscore designs. Um, and you can find them on Etsy at fire ice WPG. So, um, I feel more comfortable sharing the business information than sharing the actual address. Even if it is a business address, I don't want to be responsible for anything. So, ooh, a sticker. Very nice, very nice. I like the sticker. And then this one here, ooh, it came in a little case. Look at that, Phoenix. 
Kasky from Winnipeg, Canada. Oh, that is awesome. It is like a, um, like an octopus. So if you're watching, please say hi. Don't be shy because I, I, I mean, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep opening cards, but or like, let me know where you're from. I love to see where people are coming, uh, watching from. Oh, look at that. This one says, um, it's, this is, is this yours? It says, even flowers grow through dirt. So, let's see. You see my, I love my letter opener. It's so amazing. It's just so much easier. I gotta move my pen, because I keep wanting to grab my pen. Washington, awesome. I get a lot of mail from Washington, so that is awesome. This one is like an envelope in the envelope. So cool. Um, okay, after watching your videos, I found myself creative again. Yes, in college, I didn't always do things for myself, and this is something that has helped. I love all of your creations, and I cannot wait to perhaps do this with students I work with now. The amazing Michaela. Oh, I love that. Love it. Oh, beautiful. So this is from Michaela from Bemidji, Minnesota. And this is like um, art created, but then it's cut out and it is like mod podged or decoupaged onto the back of the card. And it looks like the back of the card is done with like crayon, but then this part here with the flowers is done with something different. It's almost 2 a.m. Easter Sunday in Australia. Happy Easter! So exciting! Michaela from Bemidji, Minnesota. Lovely like the coffee. Does it say anything? Nope. It's just like music notes up there above the coffee. And then another one here. This is done really nice. I'm also streaming on YouTube, which is why I'm going like this. And then I go like this just to make sure. So you can always watch the whole stream later. I don't understand. Like, this is like me. Like I was trying to figure out like, what did they use? And I'm very confused because it kind of looks like watercolor marker, but then there's like a texture to each of the lines, but it's not like puffy paint because it's flat. So I don't know. I don't know. And then it could be sealed. Like I've been dyeing um, tissue paper also because I love t dyeing tissue paper because it's so pretty. And I gave away all of my, when I was at the Boys and Girls Club the other day, I gave away all of my um, cut paper pieces for the artist trading cards. So I have to make myself some more. So this is all from Michaela from Bemidji, Minnesota. I had a friend who used to go to Bemidji, uh, a camp in Bemidji. So that's how I know how to say Bemidji. I also know how to say a lot of things that Wisconsin nerds can say, uh, like the name of like crazy cities because we have some crazy cities in Wisconsin. But, okay. Oh, this is beautiful. This is from Gabriella from Leander, Texas. This is a big one. That is beautiful. Beautiful. And this is all like watercolored. So it looks like it's got this cool like design, but that is all like watercolor detail around there. That's gorgeous. <gasps> wow, Gabriella from Leander, Texas. Beautiful. It could be crayon under watercolor, actually. Maybe that's what that one was. Another one. I can't even do the last name. I can't. I, I can't. So um, that's it. If you wanted to try it, it's uh, very staggy. I'll post a picture of the back side. So that's when you're sending in your cards. I will. I take photos of the front, but then I take a photo of the back also when I post to Instagram. Um, and then I group them together so that way people can know who the artist is who created the cards. So, hello, hello. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. This one comes from, let's see where this one's coming from. Beautiful. From Alex from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And there is a bunch of them here. This one says, be yourself. Beautiful. Ooh, very nice. I love like the pen work, but then like, do you see like there's like watercolor in the background? I love that. It's like using recycled paper. Ooh, this is an Easter one. A bunny with all the Easter eggs. That's really cute. 
This one uh, looks like watercolor and marker. It says dream big. Alex M from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This one says sometimes the heart sees what is invisible to the eye. That is true. That's beautiful. I love getting these ideas. Look at that. This one even says be inspirational. I love that. Hi, Madison. How are you today? Oh, look at this one. That is so much detail. Holy moly. Madison's my moderator. I always have to say that. So if I, if you ask a question and I don't respond right away, she's, if she's on here, she's usually really fast to respond. Oh, look at that. So much detail. Love it. Beautiful. These are all from Alex from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I got to keep moving because there's a lot here still. Uh, I got 16 cards in the mail today, if you are just watching. And I am also live streaming on YouTube. And I know I say that if you've been watching the whole thing, I'm sorry. I just want, I know a lot of people pop in every so often. So I always just like to say that as I'm going. I'm good. Just waiting for your brother's birthday party. <gasps> Which one? Please tell him happy birthday. I mean, you don't have to say his name, but happy birthday. Is it Levi? Is it Carson? I don't know. Um, just say happy birthday to them for me. So um, if I go on Facebook, I could probably find out. Oh, it's Carter. Carter. Aw, happy birthday, Carter. 16 envelopes, many cards. Yes, which is awesome because uh, yesterday I got a lot of multiples. So, ooh, this is so pretty. Nancy S. from New Mexico. It's a penguin. It's done in watercolor, so it's really light, but it's beautiful. Nancy S. Oh, I love the cacti. The cacti? Cactus? I don't know. It's really light, so it's kind of hard to see everything. Um, oh, a hummingbird. That's beautiful. I love the bright colors. Love it. I should show you some of the tissue paper paper that I'm making with the bleeding tissue paper. Oh, this is like a barn in the snow. Love that. And then just some beautiful watercolor. Kind of looks like flowers. So cool. Nancy from Albuquerque, New Mexico. So I'll just, <laughs> just a second here. I'll be right there. See, I'm obsessed with making the tissue paper paper. So this is that bleeding tissue paper. Oh, and it's drying. So see, it's kind of like flaking off there, but it just makes these beautiful designs. And this is why my fingers are so dirty here. Uh, but, just kind of set that there. But it just makes this beautiful like texture, like look on there. And so I've been doing like different, so this is like warm colors, red, orange, yellow. And then I'm gonna cut these into two and a half by three and a half, and then I put that in a little container in the suit out. Like this, it says blank artist trading cards. So that way when people come into the studio, they don't have to like try and worry too much. They can just take a few with them and then they can mail them in. Because I will tell you that where, um, I, I feel like the people who don't live in my town are more excited about this than some of the people who are in my town, just because I post more on TikTok. So, I do have some local people who follow me on TikTok, but um, not everyone follows me on TikTok. But I also shared the video, but it just didn't get the same type of response. I'm trying to like, you know, drum up some excitement here in Wisconsin Graphics also. So this is the green color palette. And then this one is just the blues and pinks, which is one of my favorites. And then I took another green one because I want to do like leaves and things, which are really pretty. And then here's like a pink, like light pinks and purples. And then I just did like a hot podge of random colors. And then this kind of helps me also like use my imagination when I am creating. And then there's another one of hodgepodge of colors. So I love using bleeding tissue paper because it creates such vibrant, bright colors. So, and I was trying to make a video, but then the mail lady came and so I stopped it. But anyway, oh, I love bleeding tissue paper. Okay, back to, so I have one, two, three, Four more to open and then I'll show you them all. So I'm gonna stop chit chatting here. Hello, if you are watching me on YouTube, it looks like there's two people watching. Hi, 
Um, and I will, you know, so if you are just joining me on TikTok, I will be posting it. So it's live streaming on YouTube, but uh, will regular tissue paper do the same? No. So it is bleeding tissue paper. Um, this is my, my bleeding tissue paper bin here. <laughs> and there's lots of different colors. So I, I usually like cut it, but I was trying, so someone had said in one of my videos, if you um, just like rip it and then you put it on the paper and then like, well, you have to like wet the paper. There's a video a few back, uh, actually right after I made the trading card video. But I, I do have an open pack in here. I get it on Amazon. I think there's an open pack in here. <laughs> there is. <laughs> this is what it is. It's um, Spectra Art Tissue. It's bleeding. It does say bleeding art tissue. Now, if you were to just like go get some cheap stuff, it might bleed, but this is designed to bleed. So, and you can use this on everything. I mean, if I'm not careful, it's colors the table that I'm working on. So, uh, I mean, you could wear gloves. I didn't because gloves just, I don't know. <laughs> it's just something extra. So, but yeah. And then I just keep a bin of it and I have random colors all over and, you know, I did that a lot when I was teaching the elementary art, when we were studying certain artists, but um, I just love it because the colors are so vibrant. And you can do it with regular paper, or I do a lot of just like little art at home on like old book pages that I tear out or like music pages. Uh, like Reader's Digest condensed books are really great because they're old and you get like 500 pages in there and then you can just like, so I, a lot of times I'll dye that paper and then I'll just do little art. So you can, you can do it on like thin paper and everything. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much, Bianca. <laughs> Bianca just says my energy levels are amazing. Okay, back to the cards. So it says, um, I've been working on these art cards. It's been a while since I've been able to just draw something. It was wonderful to just create without the pressure of needing it to be perfect. I understand. So love Haley. I included one card that can be colored and reset. Awesome. Now, if you are Haley Colton, you need to send me a DM because the return address on here tore off and there's no address on the inside. And I want to be able to return your cards. This is the first time this has happened. So, and the envelope was kind of open. So I don't know. I hope everything is in here that you sent. Oh, this is so cute. Let's make art together. Color this in after and add your name and where you're from and send it out again. Oh, <gasps> what a good idea. I think we might have to do some of this too. Might have to add this to the list of things that I want to do. Always be yourself from Haley Colton. Beautiful mushroom. You are someone's sunshine. That's true. Even if you don't feel like it, you are. Or if you don't think you have anyone in your life who would make you feel this way, I will. Okay. Because that's kind of my goal in life. Aw, Bianca. I'm sorry. Did I say it weird? <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Let your light shine. Haley Colton, if you are watching this, you need to DM me. Because <laughs> Send me your address because it fell off of your envelope. Can't touch this. Hilarious. I will also try and look for this person, but sometimes it's hard to know. I love that. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and if you are just joining, I'm on, on uh, YouTube also, and I only have like four left, and then I'll show you all of them. Grow where you are planted. So you can always watch the whole stream later if you want to. How long have I been going? 43 minutes. Okay, I said I'd probably have about an hour to get through 16 cards. So even though I've been chitty chatty, we're still doing pretty good for time. Oh my gosh, this just is so beautiful. Your only limit is your mind. And honestly, if you feel like some of these are like, if you're watching this and you're like, I can't create anything like this. Perfectly, we're all different. We're all unique. We're all at all different levels. You don't have to paint. You could use some collage. Um, just create something and send it in. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, it's just really awesome that you tried because usually what happens is, you know, like the reason I like to show the cards is because it helps inspire us to get new ideas and to see things differently um, because we all kind of see the world a little bit differently. And so, um, you know, I saw someone who was sewing into their cards and I was like, I want to try that. Like that is just so cool and unique and like what a cool thing to do like i just didn't even think about that um 
And so that's kind of why it's so cool to like just share how we're all so different. And once you start creating, I know we all have like this art block, like you don't know what to do, but once you start, normally um, it just comes more. So as a creative person, I sometimes I, I joke like I have ADHD because um, I have so many ideas inside of my head sometimes that I can't focus enough to get one thing done. So I usually have like six projects happening at the same time. And I am very much a project space person. I love to see projects from start to finish. So it drives me crazy when I can't finish a project. But um, I mean, and it could be a little bit of ADHD. However, um, you know, once you start creating, it starts like you can't there's this really cool saying and I can't think of what it is right now, but once you start creating things, it like gives birth to new ideas or something. I don't know, but Oh, thank you. My, sorry. Bianca just said my, the way that I pronounce her name is not weird. It's just my accent. She thinks it's amazing. Thank you. In Australia it's pronounced Bianca. 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 It's horrible. Your accent is amazing. Oh, well, I don't think, I mean, I don't know. When I lived in Colorado though, um, excuse me, I should have a bottle of water, but I lived in Colorado for a short while in Arvada and they all made fun of the way that I would say like toast and bag. Like, so they would say like, they would say, Hey, say you're going to get some toast and go to the coast in your boat. <laughs> so I'd be like, I'm going to grab my bag and I'm going to get some toast and we're going to go to the coast. We're going to take a boat because we do. We like over say our O's. And then a lot of people say bag, like a grocery bag. But we say bag, a grocery bag. <laughs> so but I did think it was funny when I lived in Texas, I, my mom, I, I, long story. But anyway, I lived in Texas for a very short while in Tyler, Texas. And I was, um, it was hailing one day and all the kids were saying hell. And I was like, what are you saying? Cause you know, it was a private school and they weren't supposed to say the word hell, but they were saying hail, but their accent sounded like hell. But, and my stepmom, she was from, um, she's passed away now, but she was from Texas and we used to always make fun of, like not make fun of her, but joke. Cause she would always say pa, you want some pa? Like pie. <laughs> It's just different, but I love it. So now like every time we're like, oh, do you want some pie? Like it just reminds us of her because we loved her so much. Oh, oh, ank, like sink. Oh, sink. Bianca, is that better? Bianca. Okay, I heard Art Studios. I'm so sorry. I can so go on a tangent there. Okay, and I do. I apologize. Okay, I heard Art Studios. What a wonderful idea you put on TikTok. I couldn't make just one, so hope that's okay. Thank you for this project. Oh, I'm so excited. That's totally fine. Um, the only thing is if you send more than one, and right now I haven't had anyone just send one today. Um, so usually if you send like one or two, then yours will just go out the following day. But if you send multiple, but like today I've got lots of like twos and threes. Actually, I did get one, I got one that was just a single one. But um, twos and threes will probably be able to go out uh, on Monday, I should say. Um, oh, this says float on. Very nice. Float on. So cool. Um, but those of you who send like a lot of them, like yesterday I got one that had 13. So it might be like a week before I can fill that one out. Um, go with the flow. Very cool. These are all from Caitlin um, Howman from Brattleboro, Vermont. Caitlin Brattleboro. That's, I've never heard of it, but it's kind of fun to say. Brattleboro. Uh, Brattleboro. Slither on. Oh, that's so fun. It's like using like snake designs or something. That's okay. I am also very chatty, especially in the morning. I don't know. It's like I haven't talked to anyone all night while I was sleeping. So now I have to get it all out right now. <laughs> I know. Weird. Okay. Oops. I got to keep everything together here, which is why I have um, everything kind of propped up so you can't see because I don't want to show any addresses by accident also. So I try to be really cautious about that. Um, and I also have to make sure that I don't rip any of the return addresses 
because sometimes if you send an address on like a longer envelope, I'm able to just cut it off of the envelope and then I tape it onto one of my new envelopes here um, that I have pre-done. And then you'll also get a little sheet like this that says, thanks for sending. And then I put like how many cards you sent me. Uh, but since I've been getting some cards that have more thickness to it, you might also get a card from me that's like this. Um, because some of the thicker cards I'm worried won't travel well in these. So this one here is just more of a heavier cardstock type of card. So if you get one that's like this, it's either maybe because you sent me a lot of them and I need the thicker card, um, or you might be getting a bigger one. I tried to message and it wouldn't let me. I will try to message on other social media sites. Oh, okay. Um, otherwise, feel free to, um, you can always email me also, iHeartArtStudios. Don't forget the S at the end at gmail.com. So, and because I'm live sometimes, um, if you don't, if, if it doesn't say it, maybe it's because I have to like approve it or something. I don't know, but, oh, these are so pretty. I only like the shade when you're blocking the light from fish. From Mary Grace Johnson from Rutland, uh, Vermont. And she is at Divided Sky Photo. That is beautiful. Beautiful. This one here. Now this is like a lot of collage actually and just like cutting things out and pasting it. Love and light, this one says, using some um, metallic paper maybe. It looks like maybe like scrapbook paper that was cut. So cool. This one here, set, and that says, a fish on it. You kind of see that? And that's all like taped on there, or not taped, glued on. Oh, this is really neat. Have a cup of coffee and catch your breath. Fish. So this design that's in the blue is actually all cut out and it's taped or glued onto this. So there's a lot of texture on this. This card actually probably took a lot of time to cut all of that out. That is amazing. Oh, see, you just take them there. Awesome. You got your card yesterday. I hope you liked it. It's all scrapbook paper. It's beautiful. I just love how there's like this texture here. And the paper that it's, you know, it's maybe hard to see. You might not be able to see it in the video. But the paper that it's taped, like glued down onto um, has a texture also. It, so it's kind of like a sweater. It's very like almost like it's like like a I don't know how to explain it it's very cool it looks really really neat that must have taken you a lot of time <laughs> so pretty and then this one because I see you must be here now there you are so I'll just show you so this is all from divided sky photo beautiful love and light and then I only like the shade when you're blocking the light Beautiful. Thank you so much for sending these in. We, I have not gotten a whole lot of cards that were like this today. Um, and so it's really nice to see the different ones coming in. All right, and then this is my last one that I'm opening right now. You're a little obsessed with fish. That's awesome. This is very interesting. This is a clear envelope. I've never seen something like this. I'm surprised it lasted. So this is the last one, and then I'll show you all the ones I got. I got 16 today, but when I go through all of them, I won't like take so much time. I'll just go kind of fast. And if you want to watch the entire stream, I am streaming on YouTube also, so I will post that when I'm finished. Um, I am so glad I stumbled on this a while, uh, this while scrolling through FYP. I know this is something that you just thought would be a small thing, but it really has the capability to be a large program that can inspire a lot of people. Yes. Um, I've also thrown in the rest of the stamps I had on hand also. Thank you. It's not much, but I know it's better than nothing. Thank you for doing this. This is amazing. And this beautiful card that is hand stamped. You can see that? Wonderful. Oh, and thank you so much for the extra stamps. I appreciate that. I just have, like to write a little note that I got some stamps there too. So. And then I just put the stamps in my little stamp bin so that I don't lose them in there. So, okay, this is all from Alexis Hall from Salina, Texas. This one is called Basil Canotype. It's very abstract. 
this is, I, I think it's, I don't know if it's done with like alcohol ink marker, alcohol markers. I'm not exactly sure. It's very unique. It's really cool. It's very abstract. Going to try and take along with Australia. Oh, yes. Um, this one is called, oh, another one, basil canotype. Or I wonder too if this is like a print from something. So yesterday someone sent in um, like prints that were really cool. Like they had like printed, like cut out like a lot, used like a lino, whatever that stuff is called. And then um, did like a print, but basil canotype. So this is Alexis Hall from Selena, Texas. So cool. With solar paint? Maybe. I've never, um, I, I've never heard of solar paint before. Okay, uh, let's see here. Vandelic, I got it yesterday. And I opened it yesterday in my live, which I posted on YouTube, and I sent you a video, or I sent you, um, I did post yesterday with the cards that I got it. I absolutely love it. I can pull that out and I'll show you again if you want to see it when I'm done here. But I'm gonna have to look at um, uh, solar paint. I've never heard of that before, but that's so cool. So, but in the, so if you go to my YouTube, I Heart Art Studios, the video from yesterday, um, cause the video I think was an hour long, an hour, eight minutes. Um, it's in like the last like 10 minutes, you can watch it. Um, but yeah, so once I realized like that you can put your hands into the ends of the scarf, like I love it, love it. Okay, here's the last one here, basil canotype. So I wonder if these were, I also sent you like a thank you. Do you get DMs through like um, TikTok? I'm curious because I said, it's a print on Putin paper and when it dries, you put leaves and stuff on the paper. <gasps> ah, interesting. Huh. I am also curious, like if it is part of like a bigger picture, course I can't I can't make it match but you know I'm just kind of oh it is see okay Do -do -do. there's that let's see what it makes I hope it's appropriate Do -do -do. okay hang on a second I gotta set it down like this that's so cool I believe you are correct okay let me just hold this up so this is Oh, if I can grab it, I'm so sorry here. I'm having a hard time holding four cards at the same time. But look at that. It's like a whole, oh, I'm probably holding it upside down now. Um, I think, it, is it supposed to go like that? I don't know. Oh, that's upside down. Nope, I don't know. This way or that way. That's so cool. I'm gonna have to like, Oh, you've done it with photography, but you've only heard about it in paint. Um, ah. I'm gonna have to like look into that. I've never heard of that before, but it's so cool. And then, I mean, even, so it's like a print that, that they cut uh, from Alexis Hall from Selena, Texas. Um, and she's at Alexis Noella, um, N-O-E-L-L-E-H. But, um, but there's also some like extra like uh, pen marking on there too, just to kind of make it a little bit more. But that is so cool. All right, so now I got 16. I'm gonna show you them all. We're gonna do this kind of fast. And then, so that way I can get things ready to go out for Monday. It's tomorrow's Easter, so might have to take a day off. All right, so I'm gonna start way down here and I'll show you. And I did get a lot of cards today, so I'm gonna have to just kind of go through these kind of fastly. So, um, all right, this is from Anant from Providence, Rhode Island. From Erica from Providence, Rhode Island. Erica, Providence, Rhode Island. This one's called Finally Summer from Erica, Rhode Island. Oh, thank you so much for the fire. You don't have to do that. Where do the where do you send the cards to? So um, this is called uh, Freezy Pops during recess. So when the cards come in, then I am sending them back out. So everyone who sent me a card, you get one back. Well, so like this person sent in, um, here, let me show you this, Erica, Button Candy. 
uh, from Rhode Island. So she sent me one, two, three, four, five, six. So then what I do is on my little notes right here, I am just gonna put six. So then they will get six in return and they will get six that are random from other people. So that's how that one goes. So then this person here, they sent me one, two, three, four, or whatever. And then I just take, make a little note and I put that they've sent that many and then they'll get that many back. So if you send between one and three, the turnaround time for you to get one back from someone um, or from me, it's just kind of a random thing, is usually within like, uh, so if you send like one to two, usually the turnaround time is one day. Um, sometimes if you get, it depends on how many I get. Anyway, um, but if you send like more than four, then usually the turnaround time is a little bit longer because I have to wait for more cards to come in because not everyone is sending multiples, but there are a lot of multiples that were sent with this group. Um, but I do have this many that are here that are still waiting for multiples. So I'll try and fill these ones first before I can fill out um, the ones that I got today. So that's kind of how that works. So, um, and then I'm the only one who sees your return address and I am, I put it in a brand new envelope and I send it out to you. Um, but you just have to make sure that your return address is written neatly and clean. And then they only need to be uh, the size wise is two and a half inches by three and a half inches. Um, but you can create it with anything you want to. So I hope that is, yep, they trade. Okay, so these are all from Jean Sheraton from Oakland, California. So I'm just gonna show you all of them. There's the cake, because there's a lot of them here. This one says tuna fish. Ooh, Haley, thank you so much. I just see you message me on Facebook. Thank you, thank you. I need your address. This one is called movie night. Oh, the address, I'm so sorry. Here, you can take a screenshot. It's iHeart Art Studios. You can also find it on my website, uh, which is linked in my profile. But just take a screenshot of this. This is the address that you send it to, iHeart Art Studios, 340 West Grand Ave, number 101. And the city is Wisconsin Rapids, but you can abbreviate it to WISC, period, Rapids. State is Wisconsin, and the zip code is 54495. All right, so I'm gonna move this in five, four, take a screenshot, three, two, one. Okay, if you need it again, I'll show you at the end here. So I gotta get through these. Carrot. All from Jean Sheraton from Oakland, California, to the moon. And I am streaming live on YouTube, so if you missed it, you can always go check out my YouTube channel at iHeart Art Studios, and you can watch it um, there also later because it will take it takes a little while to post. This one says "Nice Dream" ice cream cone. You are welcome. This one says coffee. Very, very nice. Aw, thank you so much for the fire too. You did not have to do that. Please don't ever feel obligated to like, give me things. It's just really nice of you. Um, okay, so this one here is from uh, Michaela from Bemidji, Minnesota. I'm just trying to zip through all the ones that I got here. So I try to not take too much time just trying to show you with them all. Michaela from Bemidji, Minnesota. All right, this one here is from Phoenix Kasky from Winnipeg, Canada. Very nice. And then um, also included a little sticker. So, you know, when you send like one sticker like this, I'll usually include it in the card. It's just like a little bonus thing, but you can always put a note in there and let me know if you want things to move forward with your card um, or if you, or if it's for me. So either way, um, this is from Nancy S. from New Mexico, watercolor penguin, very nice. This one here, Nancy, New Mexico, just watercolor, abstract, looks kind of like flowers. This one is a barn. This one is gorgeous. Hummingbird, I love those bright colors. And then a cactus. Cactuses, cacti, I don't know what it is. <laughs> this is all Nancy from New Mexico. This one here, 
um, was a whole like family. So there's a lot of them. These are in, from a two year old. Okay, two year old. Lovely stickers and scribbles, which is great for a two year old. Um, this one here is from uh, da, 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 age five. So another child, nice drawing, very good stickers. This one here is a person, oh, happy face from age five and a beautiful flower, age five. And then this one here is from Cameron, age 13, the letter C. And um, from looking at some of these cards, I feel like this family has probably dealt with some things that uh, like medical issues um, because they, their cards here um, seem to reference a lot of like brain um, things and like brain cancer tumors. So that one says bye. This one here, another one from Cameron says hi. This one is called Scatterbrain from Monica uh, from Illinois. This one is called Neurons, done with color pencil. This is Monica from Illinois. This one here says beautifully broken. It looks like a brain um, inside of a flower. Um, and on the back it says brain tumors suck. Just so true. Uh, this one here is from, oh, that one was from Monica. This one's from Donna from Illinois. So this is like a whole family that was creating. This one is from Donna. And this one is dot art, like pixel like dot art from Donna. What do you see? It says, and it is just a ton of little like dots, but kind of fun. There's lots of hidden images in there. So that is so awesome. Those are all from Illinois, from that family. This one here is called Finley the Frog from Skylar Husky from DeSoto, Missouri. That. This one's called Clover, Skylar Husky, DeSoto, Missouri. This one's so cute, Eeyore. And this one is called Gil the, Gra Gil the Giraffe from Skylar Husky, DeSoto. Those are all Missouri. Those are yours, they're so cute, I love them. I have to tell, like this one here, Eeyore, this one is probably one of my favorites. This is so cute. Like he's wearing a little bee costume and he's so sad like Eeyore is all the time. So that is all from Skylar Husky from DeSoto, Missouri. I'm just going through all of them right now because I opened them all. Um, here, this one is called Bloom from Kenzie Charms from Tucson, Arizona, this is Bloom. Um, Mackenzie from Tucson, Arizona. Beautiful. And these ones are from Rosabella from Groshen, Indiana. Rosabella. It looks like, oh, it's a spider web with a spider coming down. At first I thought it was a piece of pizza. <laughs> it must be almost lunchtime. Um, and then this one here, again, Rosabella from Groshen, Indiana. So good, so good. All right, this one here is from, oh, and included a stamp, which is wonderful, from Bryn S from Dallas, Texas. This is the only single card I believe I received today. Everyone else said multiples. It says shine. You are welcome. I'm so glad you got to see them here. Um, Gabriella, uh, these are from Gabriella Verstiki. I can't pronounce the last name. Gabriella V from Leander, Texas. Beautiful. 
this is all like watercolor. I'm always super fascinated when people like are really good at watercolor and they send them in just because it's one of those skills that I'm still working on. So I, I do a little bit, I do dabble in watercolor, but I feel like um, I have most experience with acrylic paint. So this is all like all those details up here, it's all the watercolor detail. Hello, would you show off my art please? Did you, um, did you send it in? Is it one of these? I'm going through everyone's cards that I received today. All right, this one here is from Alex M. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. It says, be yourself. Alex M. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Yep, if you mail me artist trading cards. So that's what we're doing right now is just the artist trading cards. Um, you can mail them to me. The address is linked in my bio. And then I would do a live video and show it off. And then um, you would get one in return from someone else who sent me one. Um, or from me, just depending on how that works. Um, I would say like the best amount to send. I mean, there's a few people who send a lot of cards here. Dream big. Um, but the best amount would be, uh, in my like personal opinion, just with the quickest turnaround time is like one to three or four. Um, but, and then you also get like a bigger photo when you are scrolling through photos here too. So this one says, um, sometimes the heart sees what is invisible to the eye and the artist trading cards just needs to be two and a half inches by three and a half inches. Alex M Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This one says be inspirational. Yes, they are small, that's why, because they're trading cards. So the reason that we do it this size is so that um, just like Pokemon cards or baseball cards, that one's just got a lot of detail, um, it's just so that they will fit into um, like the sleeves where people like save and collect them. So that is, so these are kind of the ones, I'll fill these in here after I photograph them, and then these ones here will all go out to uh, new, new families, so. Those are all Alex M from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. All right, one, two, three, four. I got four more here. Um, this one is really fun. This was sent by Haley Colton. Thank you for sending me your address. This is one where she drew the picture and then um, I can fill it in and then send it to someone else. So they actually have two artists doing this, which is really cool. Um, Haley Colton from Austin, Arkansas. Your only limit is your mind. These are so beautiful. Grow where you are planted. This one says, can't touch this. Uh, these are all Haley Colton from Austin, Arkansas. Let your light shine. Oh, it's so beautiful. This one says, you are someone's sunshine. And this one says, always be yourself. Haley Colton, Austin, Arkansas. Those are all super beautiful. And just for some odd reason, her return address got torn off. And so I'm super glad that she saw that. And so she messaged me. Okay, then here we've got these. This is Slither On from Caitlin Howman from Brattleboro, Vermont. Slither on. And if you wanted to watch the entire opening, it is also live streaming on YouTube, which will get posted after the live is done, which will just make it easier because then you can also go back and watch them. Go with the flow and float on. Very nice. All from Caitlin Howman from Brattleboro, Vermont. Um, this one here is from Mary Grace Johnson from Rutland. Um, is it Vermont? VT? Yes, Vermont, sorry. Two of them from Vermont. So it says fish. And this is more of like uh, done with like collage, like mixed media, love and light. Mary Grace Johnson from Rutland, Vermont. This one here says, have a cup of coffee and catch your breath from fish. And this one here, it says, I only like the shade when you're blocking the light from fish. And those are all from Mary Grace Johnson from Rutland, Vermont. 
And finally, these ones here, the last group is from Alexis Hall from Salina, Texas. And these are all labeled basal canotype. Um, they're very abstract, but they all like, we believe are done with, well, so what we've been discussing here, but I don't even know how, how it's done, but maybe like solar paint, which means that it's like a print. Um, so the sun helps to create this print. Um, very, very cool from Alexis Hall from Selena, Texas. And they actually all form a giant picture, which um, here, I'm just gonna try it one more time because it is pretty cool. Oh, except I can't seem to do it here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Ugh, why is it so hard to grab the cards like this? So see how they kind of all go together, but then they were cut. So cool. And it maybe goes like this, or it maybe goes like this. I don't know exactly. Eh, if I can hold them all together. I'm so backwards, I'm so sorry. But that's really, really cool. So all from Alexis Hall. So those are your trading cards for today, for what is today, Friday, is it Friday? No, Saturday, April, uh, what is the day today? The third, and tomorrow I will not have any cards for you. It's Easter, so I probably won't even go live, just take the day off of family and, um, so how do you get started? Just grab a piece of paper, use recycled paper, cardstock. You can create it out of anything you want to. Cut it down to two and a half inches by three and a half inches. Um, you can create it however you want to. So you can draw, you can um, paint, you can do mixed media, you can um, you know, just create like a little mini piece of art. And then you can just mail it to me. Here is the address, iHeart Art Studios. You can take a screenshot if you would like. And then um, I will go ahead, like once I receive it. Now you can include a stamp, a self-addressed envelope if you want to. You don't have to, um, but you can send, you know, a few, or you can send one, whatever you would want. And then however many you send me, you will get in return. That would be like a mix of different artists. So that's real. We're just artist trading cards. So we're just trading cards from other people who create. And the whole goal is really just to help. Um, share the excitement of art and to inspire others to create and really just like celebrate all of our uniqueness because we're all so different and art is like it's a skill you can learn it so if you feel like you're not very good right now that's okay just keep doing it and you get better the more you do it the better you get and um, but I don't want anyone to feel like they're not good enough to do it so there's even like adults and people over 80 who are creating cards who feel like they have no artistic ability, but they're cutting things out like scrapbook paper shapes and gluing them onto little cards and everyone is just doing so amazing. So thank you guys so much. I would say like 10 probably would be like a max. The more you send, the longer it takes to get them back because I don't always have enough to fill all of the envelopes. So these ones I have right here are ones where there's multiple, they sent in multiple and I don't, I didn't have enough to fill them all. So like with today's cards, I'll help to fill these, but then, you know, there were some people that sent multiple. So I'll have to hold under their envelopes for, you know, a few days until I can get more cards in. And um, so that's kind of how, how that goes. So if you set like, like honestly, like one to three is probably the best amount, but you can always put a note in there if you just wanna keep creating and say, I know I made like 10 of them, but please only send me, you know, two or three back. I would love to do that because I could always use a little bit of extra. So, um, and you will only get, like, I really only want to have to use one stamp to also send them back. And so some of, sometimes people send me really big, thick cards and um, I've had to pay the post office for postage. And so if the cards are really thick or big, sometimes there's more postage that then I just pay the post office for and I'll accept your envelope. But just keep that in mind when you're, um, if you are creating multiple that sometimes it's more than an ounce and then you have to put more postage on it. Um, but I still, you know, I'm still gonna accept it because I wanna show your art off, so. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. But all right, well, goodbyes are really hard. I've been live now for an hour, almost 20 minutes, so I do need to get going. But thank you so much for watching today. And I will be posting the live stream over on YouTube a little bit later, because it does take some time to process. But you guys have a great rest of your weekend and just be creative. All right, we'll see you later. Bye, YouTube.